Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Dr. Dave Singh of Portland, Oregon, developer and inventor of the DNA Appliance. Dave, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, thanks for welcome. Well, now tell us, who is this for? Who, the, the, about 80% of the people would benefit from the DNA Appliance. Who is this for in particular, Dave? Well, it's for a very wide range of people. It could be um, even young children, right. teenagers, uh, younger adults, and even older adults, particularly those who have been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Right, okay. Uh, or cosmetic development? Yeah, uh, it's a very broad range. So people who have TMJ. cosmetic issues, yeah, been diagnosed with TMD, orth orthodontic requirements, all of the uh, above categories. Great, yeah. great. And uh, now, now what can we do for them? Well, it really depends on how the patient presents. One of the principles here is prevention, to say that how can we make you a healthier and a happier person who actually looks cosmetically better because they're going to have some dental, orthodontic, and facial treatment done as well. Right, wonderful, okay. Um, now, why is this so important to, to treat the, the sleep problems, the cosmetics, the airway, the uh, the different things that you're going to treat for us? Well, you know, what we're learning now is that what happens during a childhood and during the early years impacts systemic health at an older age. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to get children to be healthy and have young people to have good-looking um, dental arches, good-looking faces, good-looking airways, right. because older adults, it'll prevent some of the systemic conditions such as diabetes, sleep apnea, hypertension, stroke, all of those chronic conditions. Great. So when is the best time to treat? The best time to treat is, you know, prevention is, as they say, better than cure, but an early diagnosis, and as soon as we know there's, there's something that needs to be treated, there's a medical indication or, or dental indication, so that's been recognized and diagnosed, and that's the time to start the treatment. Probably the sooner the better. Up to, and you've, you've treated patients as young as age the youngest has been about five or six years old and as old as people who have been in their late and mid-70s. So it's a wide range of, uh, of patients. And about 80% of the population are candidates for this. In particular, we see these soft, these, these small palates, these narrow palates. Correct. Crowded teeth. Correct. problems. Yes. Snoring, uh, sleep apnea. So if you look at the epidemiology, uh, what we find is that, if you take the U.S., um, there's about approximately 70 million people who mm -hmm. probably have sleep apnea or a sleep disorder. And of that population, about 90% haven't been diagnosed yet. Right. Now, if we look at the dental conditions, you'll find that the mid-face, the, the mid-face, the maxilla, the mandible, are smaller, mm -hmm. more retruded than usual. And so that's a good indication of saying, let's do a, an investigation here to find out what's going on, how we can best address it. And why are so many people involved with this and have these conditions? What, where does this come from? Well, there's been a huge change in uh, how we as modern humans live and behave. Right. So we go back you know, 30,000 years, every single baby was uh, breastfed or nursed from, from birth onwards. That has, you know, decreased dramatically. We've introduced baby foods. We've got pacifiers as air pollution, mm -hmm. allergies, mm -hmm. bottle feeding, um, you know, processed and refined foods. And so we've changed our diet. We've changed our lifestyle. And that's impacting our airways and our ability to be systemically more healthy. And constricting that palate. And yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of success are you having in treating with the DNA appliance? Well, you know, we've been you know, very successful. We've published a, a lot of studies to show that we can take adult patients with no drugs, no injections, and no pain, no surgery. We can actually resolve the sleep apnea. We take cosmetic cases. We can enhancement there, orthodontic cases. We've even taken patients with 10, 15 years of migraine history and resolved it completely. So we're trying to allow the body to heal itself using the facial structures as a starting point. And, and many times without surgery, gummy smiles and, and many things that used to move toward the surgical spectrum, you're doing now without surgery. Correct. Now there'll always be you know, a, a reason for surgical procedures, 
But if we can minimize those procedures or we can do it non-surgically, that would be our first approach. And we'll work with our other colleagues as required on a case-by-case -case basis. Right. Is there any last things you'd like to tell us before we close, David? Well, you know, I think the DNA appliance and the ideas behind it have a sound scientific basis. We've done 10 or 15 years of research before we actually started making this protocol available. And so I think it'll help people to be healthier and happier and have longer lives. Wonderful. And how would we get in touch with either you or find a dentist uh, who is trained in this technique? Well, we have a website called the dnaappliance.com. If you click on there, find a certified provider. And when you click on there, there's a map of the US and actually the world. And if you click on the various regions, you'll find a dentist, an orthodontist, who are trained to provide this type of treatment. Wonderful. Dave, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for the welcome. Thank you.